Radio, video number three in the series. Well, is it two? Anyway, so we're talking about Foster or Foster uh, next hailer. So next hailer looks like this, uh, right? Foster in some countries, for example, in the UK, it's called Foster. It's the same thing. Okay. So basically, it contains an inhaled corticosteroid and a bronchodilator. So it's a combination inhaler. Okay. So it's got two things in it. Uh, this is a controller medication, okay, generally. So this is the type of stuff you have to take twice a day. Morning, evening. Morning, evening. Don't forget, it's a regular inhaler. It's like taking your a blood pressure medication. So this is not the type of thing you only take uh, here and then, and uh, that's it, and uh, whatever. So if you want it to be effective, you really have to use it regularly. And because it's a combination inhaler and it's got two things in it, one of them being a corticosteroid, there are some specific things you need to do that, for example, with the Ventolin, Ventolin you wouldn't do. So this is actually a great device. Okay, so it's a great device. I, I like it as well. Many patients do as well because it's very easy to use. So looking at it, it just has this sort of uh, pink thing on the top. Uh, it actually qu looks quite red on my camera, but that's what it is. And it's got uh, a dose counter here, so you know how many doses are left. And the great thing about it is that this doesn't go down unless you've actually inhaled the dose. So, so this is actually quite good. Okay, so um, how do you use it? Again, same principle as, as before. Whoop. Come on, zoom my camera. My camera doesn't zoom very well, but anyway. So same principle as before. Um, you need to take a deep breath with this one, but being a powdered inhaler, so this is a DPI, dry powdered inhaler, dry powder inhaler. Inside, there's a bit of dust and that dust, you need to inhale it deep into your lungs. Okay, so don't, don't do something like like that, that's wrong. It won't go anywhere except your throat. So you have to really get it deep. How do you do that? You take the air out completely. You open this up, put it in your mouth and take a big, deep, forceful breath. So if it were an MDI or a Ventolin inhaler, you would have to take it slowly and deeply. This one is forceful and deep. Okay, so it's a slight difference there. So I'm going to demonstrate how I use it. Okay, so basically you open the, the top da, 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 and it clicks, right? And you can see this is a mouthpiece and it's got something here through which the air flows in and it comes out of the mouthpiece into your mouth, hopefully. Okay, so once you've opened this, this is activated. So this can is ready to use. There's no more steps. It's easy, right? So you take the air out. And you hold, okay? So you have to hold for about 10 seconds if you can, okay? If not, at least take it out, take your, the air out slowly. So let me just explain what I've done there. So I've took the air out of my lungs, exhaled, put this in my mouth, and forcefully suck the air in through this mouthpiece, okay? So you have to do it forcefully because you have to get that dust moving, okay? And once you, you do that, that you will hear a little click. So maybe you've heard it before, but if you suck forcefully enough, you will hear a bit of a click. That, that reassures you that you've taken your dose. Okay? And once you're done, you just close this. Plak. And look at the dose counter. It went down. Okay? So that means it worked. Okay? So that's what it is. Let me just do it again for you to see. So you open it up. Take the air out. slowly release, okay? But hold it in longer, right? And then you close and you're done. And boom, 118. So I've taken two, do two doses. Right, main thing to not forget after you use this, make sure you rinse your mouth, gargle 
and spit some water at least because it contains a little bit of corticosteroid and some of that dust even if you use it perfectly will settle in your mouth throat etc so it's important you, you rinse that out uh, that's because you can sometimes get fungal infections because of that local corticosteroid so the, the goal of these inhalers is to get them inside your lungs and that's it right so once you're done with that make sure you rinse close and you're all done that's it it's quite easy see you in the next video